Welcome back, viewers, to part two. Well, let's start over here. Welcome, viewers, to the dragster shop and transmission. This is part two of the non-working four-wheel drive system in a 98 Chevy S10 Blazer. Four-wheel drive, obviously. Four-door, 4.3 Vortec engine. Uh, got it finished up. I ended up running uh, all new vacuum lines and rerouting them away from the exhaust. Uh, engine vacuum, and then it runs back to the transfer case switch that I showed you in the previous video. And then it comes back up here and to the switch, uh, vacuum switch underneath the battery tray. Now you can see I've put everything back together and just wanted to do a, a little short video to show you that it is working now. So, <clears throat> okay. Now, you don't have to do this. You're supposed to be able to shift on the fly from drive to uh, uh, and turn on the four-wheel drive. You see here I have a three-button panel, or this vehicle has a three-button panel. So I shift to neutral for high. Okay, sometimes transfer case is a little loud, and other times it's quiet. There's probably something going on there. As you can tell, it's got 186,000 miles on it. So, all right, let's put her in drive, overdrive, drive, whatever you prefer. All right, now I don't recommend you do this by yourself, but I do have the vehicle up in the air, as you can see. Left front wheel spinning. Right front wheel spinning. Both rear wheels. No more vacuum leaks. Now, I will show you what I found. This was a lot of work to get it to this point. But Alright. Switch back to too high. And go to the park. Shut her down. All right. Oh, these things have 14 feet of vacuum line, as I mentioned in the other video. Uh, here's the two worst pieces. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. My hands are covered in old rubber hose, but uh, this hose was pretty well shot. Look to be original GM numbers on it. So I guess that's a good thing for a vehicle. Is this old? And this one was the worst one. Where'd it go? Well, one of the hoses was so weak that it, oh, right here. You can see that it just sucked shut and was leaking vacuum there. So. That was keeping the uh, four-wheel uh, vacuum switch under the battery tray from fully engaging. In other words, for it to suck shut completely and pull the cable that runs down to the front differential, that was keeping that from fully engaging. Well, anyway, but that's it. It works. So, I'm going to go out for a test drive. Anyway, uh, all right, guys. Well... Didn't want to leave you guys that watch my videos hanging. I said I may or may not do a part two to this, and I have. So check it out. Hope you watch it. Enjoy it. Um, so, all right, there you go. Hey, guys, subscribe to the channel. And turn on your notification bell so you get notified when I post other videos to my channel. Uh, give me a thumbs up on the video comment below and hey thanks for watching